everyone and welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time here then hi my name is Lauren and on my channel we mostly talk about anything luxury but we also discuss lifestyle and beauty so if you're interested in any of these topics please consider subscribing to my channel and we'll get started with the video So in today's video, I'm going to be presenting you the best wallet on chain bags that there are out there right now. These are bags that I really like, that are practical, especially on a night out, that don't take too much space, that are crossbody, so that means you can have your hands free. It's basically the best of all worlds. So if you're curious to see what my options are, then please keep on watching. So my first option is of course going to be from Chanel. If you've been subscribed to my channel for a while, you know that I'm obsessed with the brand. This is their classic walk wallet on chain and it currently retails for $3,350 plus tax. This is actually out of all the bags that I will show you in this video, the only one that I have. I do not have another wallet on chain bag. This is the Icon, the um, classic model from Chanel. I love it. I feel like what I love most about it is actually the chain length. Um, so the length of the strap is really quite long and I know that it's something that's criticized a lot, um, especially around shorter girls, but for me, since I'm 5'11 or 180 centimeters, the chain length is perfect. Um, it actually, the bag rests on my hip, on my actually even lower hip, I would say, which is really perfect. So I love that about this bag. Um, what I love about it too is that it has different pockets. So of course it has a back pocket that's right here, but then if you open it, you also have this inside pocket here and then plenty of compartments inside. So you do not need to bring like a um, card holder or even a little wallet. You can just store your cards directly in the bag. Um, obviously it doesn't fit a whole lot. <laughs> um, probably just stick to, you know, your cards, like a couple of them, not like your 50,000 cards, like Costco cards and stuff like that. Don't do that. But like a couple of cards, a phone, car key, home key, I think that's about it. Um, but I mean, it's practical, it's teeny tiny, especially when going out. I love to bring that one out because that means that I just put it on crossbody and I never remove it. I'm the type of girl that would forget her purse um, on a night out at a party or something like that. So that's why I never remove it. I love the crossbody option. And if I were to choose any wallet down chain bags, this would be my number one pick. So starting from here, we are going to have bags that I do not have currently in my collection. So I will be including pictures either here or here. My next choice would be the Dior Caro pouch and it currently retails for $2,450 plus tax. So in my mind, it looks just like the Chanel bag that I showed you earlier, but in a Dior version. The one that I would pick would be in black, but it obviously comes in a variety of different colors. I think for a wallet on chain, I would stick to something classic like black and then the combination of black and gold hardware looks absolutely gorgeous. The price is a little bit more appealing <laughs> than the Chanel one. I think the Chanel one um, is actually the most expensive out of this entire list. I feel like for the Dior one, you're getting kind of a good in-between. You're not paying that hefty Chanel price tag. But at the same time, it's a very safe, it's a very good investment, it's a very good brand, the quality will be there, you will not have any like quality issues. The look is really similar and I would say it's about the same use, so something like a bag for a night out. Um, maybe a little bit more casual than the Chanel one, so perhaps, and obviously depending on your choice of color, you could bring it out during the day, maybe at like brunch or something like that, that would be fine. Um, this is actually a bag that I have not seen in person yet. I have not tried on the bag, but for me, it looks like the storage inside is pretty similar to the one of the Chanel bag. It looks about the same um, size wise, also width wise. I would say it's pretty similar. So I think that for the storage um, and for you know what you can potentially store in your bag, it seems pretty similar. So obviously just stick to the essentials. Next up, we have the Yves Saint Laurent Cassandre Chain Wallet, and it retails for $1,790 plus tax. 
So obviously a lot more reasonable than both of the options that I have showed you earlier. Also one of the big pros of this bag, um, this is actually a bag that I have tried on in person um, at the mall. So one of the good things about it is that in terms of storage, we're right above um, the Chanel and the Jiahuan. Um, it seems a little bit larger, so I believe that you can fit a little bit more. So if you're looking to bring, you know, something maybe like extra, like a lipstick or like a hand sanitizer, um, something that you wouldn't normally be able to fit in this Chanel or Jiah option, you would right here in the Saint Laurent one. So that's obviously really nice. The price is also a lot more reasonable, $1,700 for um, you know, a bag that's starting to be <laughs> more affordable. Um, I would pick, again, the black and the gold one, but I've seen a lot of really nice colors. I've seen a really nice beige one, um, beige and then gold hardware. Looks really nice, and um, because the brand is a little bit lower than Chanel or Dior, you could potentially bring this out during the day. This would be an excellent day bag as well, um, especially if you don't get it in black. I would say, you know, I've seen like a pink one that's also very, very cute. So if you're looking for maybe a seasonal bag and don't want to invest too much money um, in a Chanel option or a Dior option, then that would be really nice. Um, I love the design. I feel like the material is very, very resistant. Um, so this is a bag that you're gonna have for a really long time, which is not necessarily the case for the Chanel one. Um, the one that I have is in lambskin, so I'm very cautious of, you know, scratches, stains, stuff like that. I feel like for me, lambskin is still hard to manage, and my favorite one is definitely caviar leather. So um, for the Saint Laurent one, it resembles the durability of the caviar leather, which I love. My next choice is going to be the Céline Margot Wallet on Chain, and it currently retails for $2,250 plus tax. Now, Céline is actually a brand that I never talk about on my channel. Um, I don't have anything from them. I think actually a really long time ago, I used to have a bracelet, um, like the knot bracelet from them, and then I think I ended up selling it. I'm like trying to think if I still have this. <laughs> I think I ended up selling it, but maybe I might end up finding it somewhere uh, hidden in my closet. But yeah, so I don't have anything from this brand. It's a brand that I don't really bring up a whole lot. Um, I never really go into their store. This brand doesn't really attract me, um, you know, that, that much. But I love their new logo, which is featured on this Wallet on Chain bag. Now, the big downside for me is the price. Um, since they have you know, redesigned their brand, they have obviously raised the prices by a big, big margin. And so for me, like $2,200 for a bag from a brand that's not either Chanel or Dior, it's a lot of money. Um, so personally, I wouldn't get it. I love the look of it. And I feel like it's maybe a little bit of a different vibe as well. Um, but I can't really justify the price tag. I feel like, you know, for the vibe, it's kind of like a little, maybe trendy. And I'm a little bit concerned that this is not going to be something that's going to last. And so you will have spent like the $2,200 on something that might not be the best investment. But if you're not looking to make an investment, if you're just looking to be, you know, in the moment, to be trendy, um, I feel like this bag would be amazing, especially for example with like a day outfit. Um, I know that Sidin also has some really nice sunglasses um, that would match, so obviously they have the same logo that would match the bag. And then, you know, you can potentially wear this with like maybe um, like a tank top, like a striped tank top, and then like a pair of white pants for the summertime. This would be absolutely gorgeous. I love the aesthetics and I love the look of it. I love the bag, but price-wise, it's a little bit expensive for me. And lastly, we have the Louis Vuitton Felicie Pochette, and it retails for $1,490 plus tax. There are different prices according to the material, so you can obviously get it in like monogram, that's the basic price. After that, anything like empreinte, blah, 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 is gonna be more expensive. But the starting price is $1,490. It is the most reasonably priced out of all of the ones that I have presented you. Um, and I feel like it is one that is most suited for the day. So all of the ones that I've showed you earlier would be perfect for like a night out, even the Céline one. But this one, mm, I wouldn't necessarily bring that one out on a night out. I feel like it's the perfect day bag. 
if you're not planning on bringing a lot. <laughs> um, that being said, it's not for me because I'm the type of girl who during the day brings out like her entire house with her. I feel like during the day I always need space for like a potential sweater because I don't want to be cold, like a water bottle obviously sunscreen i'm obsessed with like reapplying sunscreen every two hours um you know a bunch of stuff i i like can't travel without having all of that stuff in my purse otherwise i feel like you know a little bit uncomfortable maybe i could potentially leave that in my car but still i feel like I wouldn't be that comfortable but if you are the type of person who likes to you know go out and about with like a lighter bag without like having your whole house with you that would be a solid option the price is amazing I mean $1,400 for a designer bag nowadays it's like almost unheard of um, so I feel like for me this would be a really really good option I've heard also um, that the strap um, that the chain is really long so there shouldn't be any problems even if you're tall like me um, storage wise it is a little bit a teeny tiny bit um, larger than you know the standard like Chanel and Jiahuan so it seems like it could um, maybe fit like you know a little bit more like I said like a lipstick or like a hand sanitizer maybe a mini sunscreen um, if you have like a little container then that would be possible but I love the look, especially for a day bag. If you're looking for a day bag on a budget, this would be an awesome recommendation. So that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this video was beneficial and informational for you in case you were looking at acquiring a new wallet on chain bag. These are terrific options. I feel like they are very diverse. There's a lot of different price ranges. There's a lot of different brands. There are some different styles. Obviously, you know, a wallet on chain is always gonna be a wallet on chain. <laughs> um, but I try to kind of find like diverse, you know, aesthetics, let's say. So if you did enjoy the video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next one.